Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to bring you along as I just simply fry some pork chops. I got my pan heating with my oil on the stove and I am going to dip them in some uh, seasoned flour. So I have my flour, I have some kosher salt, black pepper, a little bit of paprika and just a little bit of the uh, cayenne pepper. And so I'm just going to mix that up really well. And then I'll bring you back when I go to dip my pork chops and cook them. This used to be uh, growing up and stuff. My mom and grandmother would fix fried pork chops. Now most of the time I either do them out on the griddle or just bake them in the oven. But I've been really wanting some fried, good old fried pork chops. Okay, I have my oil heating up. You don't want it smoking hot, but you do want it heated. So when you put your pork chop in there, it starts to sizzle. So I heated my oil up. And now I have it down on medium heat. And I just want to show you just dipping one of the pork chops. And when I'm cooking stuff like this, I'm just showing you how I cook it and how my family likes it. Like the seasoning and the flour. When you cook it, you make it your own. You add what you like or leave out what you don't like. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in and I'll show you me putting the last one in. Now, if you're frying more than what will fit in your pan, you really don't want to overcrowd your pan, then you will want to fry it in batches. But I'm just cooking three tonight because there's three of us eating. And so I'm going to let this cook till it starts to brown on the other side. And then I'll bring you back when I go to turn them. Okay, my pork chops are ready to flip. Now, I will probably flip them a couple of more times and um, and then just cook them till they're done. You can check it with a thermometer. Or I, I've been cooking these so long, I can tell. But um, you just really want to make sure that it's done and everything. So, um, I'll bring you back when I go to flip them again. Okay, they're ready to turn again. Okay, and these are almost done, so I will bring you back when we're ready to come. See, this is just a quick, easy pork chop to serve for your dinner. I don't fry a lot of my food a lot of the time, but it's too cold to go outside and cook it on the griddle or to grill it, so I'll bring you back. My pork chops are done. I just have them on some paper tiling to get off any excess oil or you can just uh, put it on a wire rack to let it drain off any excess oil so I'll bring you back in just a minute and we'll try some okay now it's time to try it and I apologize I didn't get me cutting it up because I thought the camera was recording but it wouldn't but it did cut real easy very nice and very tender I really love me a good old fried pork chop. So anyway, if you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, because I love hearing from you. And until my next video, I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all.